So hi, my name is Sterling with NOAA's Waterproofing and Prevention. Now what we're going to discuss on these videos, series of videos, is what foundation waterproofing is, explain weeping tile, and um, who I am, uh, how to fix, uh, fix them properly. We're going to get into tuning up your wet basement, tuning up these weeping tiles. Um, and we'll get into some uh, difficult, some questionable problems. So let's start with who I am, okay? I, uh, I was a, a pool builder in the United States. I was educated in the United States. I'm a graduate of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, which is an engineering degree. Returning to Canada, I uh, uh, worked for a wholesale uh, <clears throat> wholesale swimming pool equipment uh, uh, distributor for five years, and I went on my own, and I was in for 20, 20, 25 years wholesaling uh, swimming pool equipment and spa equipment. And then I started... Uh, Royal Spas, a, uh, a manufacturer of acrylic hot tubs, and um, <clears throat> had an early retirement. And I, uh, I ran into some people into doing this uh, uh, waterproofing. And I got involved. And that was, I'm approaching 20 years of doing this. And um, so I didn't learn this business digging. I learned it uh, from the marketing point of view uh, uh, and understanding some specific sciences, physics of physics, that uh, is needed to, uh, to really uh, do waterproofing properly. Now, to begin with, I was laying weeping tile when I was 10 years old. My father was a brick contractor. He had the contract to put all the bricks on the suburban homes. Now, this is interesting. The bricklayers put in the weeping tile. Plumbers did not put in weeping tile because they weren't ready on the job site. Now, at 10 years old, uh, my old man, he said, uh, Sterling, I want you to go and put these weeping tile. Now this is some weeping tile that we we dug up and he said just place these side by side all the way around the house. Okay? Tight like this. Now there was a grade line, there was a plumb line, okay, so that we had a proper grade on on, uh, on on the weeping tile. Okay, so we need a grade to the storms. Okay, a grade. So I had to go and put them side by side, and um, excuse me. What? After I put them all around the house, you would say, "Here, take the the ball." He, he had a baseball. This is a a hard tennis ball, and. Um, Test. Put it at the end of the end of the. Uh, oops. Back here. And test the grade. Now, this type of detail you'll never see today. Okay. Now this ball will end up in the front of the house. So it's a sterling go down the. the, the Go get the balls in the front of the house, so they will come out at the at the front of of the house. Now they did that, okay. So and I'm not asking questions, okay. I'm not asking questions. I'm getting paid ten cents an hour, and uh, it was a lot of money back then. We're talking nineteen what uh, fifty seven. Kind of dating myself. Then I had to go test the other side of the house, and the grade was right. So this type of detail was involved, and from there, when I see some of our crews dig up weeping tile, 
you can see that uh, you got a big problem if the weeping towel was put in without a grade, uh, not taking how careful it was. So there you go. We can't get if we can't get the ball going, water won't flow through there. Which you know I call a little uh, <laughs> sabotage or total ignorance. Then he would give me a bucket of water with the burlap stra uh, burlap strips to put over these joints. There you go. A filter between the joints. Rarely do I ever dig up weeping towel and we see this burlap filter. So that means it's fine dirt can infiltrate through this here, uh, these gaps. Um, so it was completed, crushed stone was put over and um, um, and backfilled. Now you can have your plumbers do uh, do the the front connects up to, to your cleanup. But that the bricklayers put in the weeping towel. Uh, I don't know who taught uh, my old man, but uh, you know to great detail. This foundation draining system is tantamount to keeping your basement dry. Now, if it's not, if it, it, if it doesn't have the proper grade, which is, I believe, one inch per hundred foot, um, you're going to get this leveling. An old wives' tale is, oh, these, these get damaged. I've never dug up any in over, uh, oh, maybe close to 1,500 applications, 2,000. Um, now, they're not all ceramic weeping top, but they're very, very stable, hardy. They don't collapse. They, they, they don't deteriorate, they don't rot. All right, so, so that was the first phase because we have ceramic and we didn't have access to uh, modern plastic extrusion. So then the market went to foundation drainage pipe, uh, which looks like this. Now they first came out with it as perforated and again this stuff is wonky I, they have to take their time to uh, no I didn't put these in they have to put their time in to, to have proper grade and then they have these little slots all the way around them so that the water could weep into weep into the weeping towel well remember remember the burlap bag okay no burlap bag on the initial ones, and they, they are, I suppose they'll be around a lot of about well, 30 years old, 30 to 35 years old. There was a, a conversion from here to here. Well, without the without the, the grade, uh, without I'm not going to mention some important things here um, till later on. So we have these little holes. So we get all water it will come in there, and we've got some videos to show you but some of these weeping towel totally end up getting totally plugged and impacted no water can flow you get a water table and it drives into your basement okay it gets into block wall fills it up and it's moist and, and uh, uh, um, you get the mildew smell okay same thing here they get all blocked up well the key is the key is properly flowing and uh, flushing. We'll get into that later. Then they came into the third, and this is the, the approved one now. They have a filter sock. Well, this filter sock now, that allows, this displaces this, that allows water to weep in at down to 50 microns. 50 micron is equivalent to a sand filter on a swimming pool. Nice clear water, you got 50 uh, milligram of filter. So this is filtered water that gets in here. It's not dirty water. 